Right, okay guys, we said we we're going to do this video for a little while now, so in the UK, the contest season is kind of starting off. Everybody's like four, three, two weeks out, and everybody's starting to get the head games kicking in. So I said I would do a video on how to kind of dig through those final weeks without melting down and dropping out of the show, because I've seen people do it before. You know, they're in great shape, but the head games get just a little bit too much into the head, if you like. And they end up quitting when they could have done really well. So I've got my list here because no doubt I will forget as soon as the camera starts rolling. So first one, again, head games. Everybody gets the head games. So at least once in your prep, you'll think about quitting. You're not good enough, etc., etc. You know, everybody gets frustrated. Everybody, you know, thinks they're not good enough. Everybody thinks they're not lean enough. Everybody thinks they're not big enough. Everybody thinks they're flat, that's the favourite word when contest prep rolls around. Oh, I feel flat, I feel crap, you know, I look like shit. Just, you know, block them out. Everybody gets them, guys. Just block them out and continue with the prep. So next one, don't get carried away with the scales. Now, I've been very guilty of this one. You know, weigh myself all the time. If the scale doesn't say what I want it to say, you know, mashes your head in a little bit. Again, it contributes to the head game. So, you know, weigh yourself once a week on a weekend possibly like twice a week you know wednesday saturday or wednesday sunday you know i've seen guys in max muscle weighing themselves as much as like before the workout during the workout after the workout and i'm actually not joking so yeah your head will just get scrambled up and your weight can fluctuate anyway you know you, you, you whatever water you drink you could be a little bit dehydrated or just for, for whatever reason you, your weight can fluctuate so especially if you're a bigger guy so don't get be a don't be a slave to the scale if you like so number three i have on the list don't get carried away with the mirror i mean i know you got to kind of look at how you're looking see if you, you're getting there con condition wise etc but honestly especially when i was younger i would be literally looking in the mirror like every half hour you know looking at the abs looking at the lower back you know am i smoothing over is this happening is that happening again that will just contribute to the head games your head will end up mashing in you know i always say and, and, and guys will have noticed this with me and Max Muscle, and I always stay covered up. You know, tend, if I'm getting ready for a contest, I might look possibly at the end of the world when I'm finished so I'm not distracted during the world with a, with a string on or whatever. But usually I will look once a week, seriously, just once a week, take progress pictures once a week, you know, in the same place at the same time, and evaluate from there. So, you know, I'll, I'll even go as far as, you know, the last few weeks I will go, go in the shower and... Put the passage light on so I can't look in the mirror when I get out of the shower, etc. You know, do whatever you need to do to kind of get you through that mental game type of thing. So yeah, don't be looking in the mirror every second that you get in the in the toilets at Costa. You know, you who know who that is. They just sent me a picture there. Don't be looking every two minutes because you'll just get carried away with it all. So what have we got? So we got here. Um, don't take too many people's advice on board. Now, again, I was guilty of this when I was younger because I was fortunate enough to know a lot of um, high-level bodybuilders out when I was younger. And it was the old saying that goes, there's, there's more than one way to skin a cat, which is very true. You know, there is different ways to get into condition or contest shape, if you like. You know, it's not rocket science, but there is different ways to do it. And I'm not saying, like, everybody's got the correct formula. There's, there's, they, everybody has their own way. I'm not saying anybody's is the right or wrong way, but it's when you start combining everybody's ideas, it all just ends up a bit of a, a mishmash. So yeah, to stick to one method, you know, take comments on board, take advice on board, but be very careful not to kind of get carried away with doing too many variations of this or whatever, just because X top bodybuilder says this or Y top bodybuilder says that. So next next one, uh, let's have a look. Um you know, I wish I had tons and tons of like advice on this, but really, there isn't a, a ton of advice I can give you on the on the final stretch. But you know, another one is it sounds very cheesy, but just focus on yourself. I mean, I know you hear this all the time. You know, focus on yourself, blah blah blah. It sounds very generic, but it's very true. Um, don't compare yourself to others because you've always got that one guy who can eat five hundred grams of carbs and do two hours cardio a day or two hours cardio a week rather when you're doing two hours cardio a day and eating 50 grams of carbs everybody's different you know especially nowadays you've got social media everybody looks shredded online everybody looks huge online you know you've got people photoshopping pictures etc so yeah focus on yourself 
don't compare yourself to others because you can't do anything about that anyway. Number two, don't be worrying about who's going to show about the liner because, you know, one year this class could be extremely hard, the next year the standard could be extremely poor. So that doesn't matter anyway. Just focus on yourself. All right, what else have I got written down here? Um, don't do any last minute crazy shit that last week. And there's so many people done this. And this is what I've mentioned earlier in the video about people changing stuff up the last week, melting down and ended up pulling out of the show because they've done some silly shit with carb depleting, you know, carb loading, messing around with sodium. If you don't know what you're doing with that kind of thing, you know, I do, I do personally carb load and carb deplete, play with sodium a little bit. But, you know, I, I, that's like from learning from many years of experience. If, you, if you're new to the game, you don't know what you're doing, if you want to do it, hire a coach who maybe just guide you a little bit. If you don't know what you're doing and you're looking pretty much okay, don't mess around with it, guys, because it can, can be disastrous. You know, don't, especially with the diuretics thing and everything. Just keep it simple and don't play around with stuff that you don't know what you're doing. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, rather. And yeah, I mean, you know, I wish I had, again, I'll say it again, I wish I had some, some crazy motivational quotes to keep you going. But the, the one is that, you know, keep the mind strong and the body will follow. It truly is a battle of you versus you. I mean, there's only you will know if you skip that cardio session. There's only you will know if you put that food in your mouth at 3 o'clock in the morning when you woke up starving at 10 days out. Only you will know that. Only you will know if you slacked off in the gym. So, yeah, guys, keep it together. If you're in contest prep now, good luck. Don't be melting down. The final stretch pretty much is a mental game. So, again, keep the mind strong and the body will follow. Good luck.